Hey, Josiah Ford with Real Houses, Real Prices here filming in Frisco, Texas today. I'm standing in front of a nice house here. It's three bedrooms, two bath, about 1,800 square feet, listed for about 315,000. And you know, I almost didn't do this video because I walked in this house and I'm not that excited about it. And I think that is, that's first of all, that's one of the real reasons why I started doing this series because the thought process that a lot of people coming from out of state or even from around the area of how far their dollar could go, um, the expectations were not met. And so that's the same thing I saw here. And I was like, man, I don't want to keep, I don't want to show the house that's 315 that I don't like, but you know what? I'm going to show it for the reason of the opportunity that's here. There's a couple things that I saw here, and it's something that myself as a seasoned real estate, uh, not only realtor as an, and also an investor, I'm gonna look at all opportunities, and, and it's really not done. It's really, you know, the, the opportunity's not over until I have completely looked at the entire situation. I can't just look at the house and, uh, and go, oh, well, that's, that's not gonna work. I gotta also see the opportunity because we are in great schools. Schools are right around the corner here. Uh, you know, nines and tens on, on the ratings, and uh, there's a lot of opportunity. So let's go take a look inside the house, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So as you walk in the house, there's not much of an entry, but there is a big living room. There's a formal dining room off to the side here. Good size, you can get a regular table in there, sit six or eight people on the And then, one of the showstoppers for me. Um, you look in the kitchen, it does have granite countertops, um, but it does have outdated cabinetry, it has outdated appliances, but it does have a uh, gas stove, which I personally like, and it has ample room for a kitchen table uh, in here, as well as a laundry space and a huge pantry that you would walk into. So what I just showed you was not the most appealing. It's standing right, it's right behind me, right? Um, and like I said, this is one of the reasons why I created this series to show people how far their money can go uh, here in the Dallas, Texas area. And so I look at the house and I would say, most of my clients will walk in here and say, well, I, that's not what I expected. I, I want something better than this. And that's fine. But I think this is an opportunity for somebody who comes in and is able to negotiate the price down, do some work themselves, guys or gals who want to come in here and make their house their own, which you're going to do either way. It doesn't matter how expensive or how big of a house that you buy, um, you're going to change something to it. So in this case, it's just a little bit more. And it's an opportunity to negotiate the price down. It's also an opportunity where there, no other real investors can really come through into this neighborhood because as I looked at the, uh, remember I said it's not over until it's just completely, you know, thoroughly vetted. But I looked at a stat or at least a note on there that the realtor put was the neighborhood is not allowed any more rental property. Okay, so a lot of these HOAs, so that they make sure that neighborhoods don't go down in price um, with, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with renters, but it's not theirs. Not everybody takes care of stuff that's not theirs. That's just the fact of the matter. That's the truth. Um, and so it they won't allow any more renters. So that means a homeowner has to actually buy this. And a lot of the homeowners who are coming here, bidding high prices for these houses, pushing these prices up, they're not going to come to this house. They probably have already. The house has been on the market for almost a month and nobody has actually taken it down. So it's an opportunity to negotiate the price down so you can get a house underneath market value, change the house the way that you want to, and have a great investment where you can have a house with great schools. Schools are right down the street, nines and tens on the uh, on greatschools.org and all that kind of stuff. So I want you to always look at the opportunity um, and at the same time, give you that perspective because I get too many people who are disappointed when they realize $300,000 is not gonna go very far in this North Texas market. But there is opportunity in everything that we see. So let's take a look at the rest of the house so I can show you what else this house has to offer. 
finishing up with the living room here. Has a huge fireplace in the middle. I see opportunity here with this wall size. I mean, you could probably get the biggest TV you possibly ever could buy and put it on that wall. And the size of the living room that you have in here could also fit a very big couch and it'd be a very good entertaining area for friends and family. Bathroom here could use some remodeling. Um, doesn't take much to remodel a bathroom. Bedroom in here is actually a good size. Doesn't take much for paint, carpet. I mean, you could paint anything yourself and get a little bit of carpet. Another bedroom here, really good size. I mean, these are secondary bedrooms. These are not the master bedrooms. These are secondary bedrooms. Two closets in here. And the master bedroom here. This also has a master bath behind that door. I'll take, I'll show you. This is actually a really good size master bedroom. This is probably 16 feet by 15 feet, which is a really good size. Let's take a look at that bathroom. So you have the functionality here, right? You have dual sinks. You have a long space to get ready. You have a huge drop, huge tub. What I also see here is this right now is a small shower, but there's a bunch of extra space for this shower. That shower can come out wider and it can come out deeper because you have at least, that's gotta be at least two feet behind there. You put, you add eight, 18 inches to a shower and you've got a brand new feel in the shower. So, and then a master closet. And then out back, lastly, you have a good sized backyard back here. I mean, you can put a swimming pool back here. You can put a play set. It has nice board on board fencing you know you have a good space back there and then you also have a patio space so you guys can hang out look at the kids who are in the backyard so like i said this series is intended to show you real houses real prices this is a house that's actually on the market right now three bedrooms two bath 1800 square feet in frisco isd this is for 315,000. I know it may not be exactly what you expected, and that is the point of this. The point is to show you exactly what to expect. I, things will get better. I've got other videos coming. We're going up in price. We're gonna go up north of a million. We have access to everything. I talked to my loan officer the other day. He's like, man, just don't show houses just of 250,000. I'm not, because the average house that we actually sell is actually over a half a million dollars but we do sell houses in every single price point. So I do want to show you guys everything that's out there. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys on this channel again. Thank you guys for watching. Hope it helps somebody. If you guys have a question, please shoot me a, a message back or uh, you can contact me at 214-425-3525. Thanks.